On today's episode of Classic Burners, we got the pioneer, the legend, the most influential writer in LA, Soon Won. So stay tuned for some reality, truth, and history coming at you live. All right, all right. Welcome to Classic Burners. Today's a very special episode because we're taking it back to the top of it. We're talk, taking it back to the back to the earliest of earliest. We have the honor and privilege of having as our special guest today, LA's first hip hop graffiti writer, the one who kicked this whole thing off here in LA, Mr. Soon Wan from the Young Lords. Welcome, my brother. All right, blessed, blessed. And so um, this is a rare privilege privilege to just see everything and to hear it from his mouth. And just to give you guys a little bit of context on um, to understand how special this is for, for a lot of us is that in the early days, we had seen Soon's pieces after he was gone, Some a lot of us. We never got to know him. There was only a handful of people that actually got to be there when he came down and did his thing. So all we were left with was dope pieces that, that were still here. And we, you know, the stuff we studied and we learned from. So an analogy that I use when I was describing it to soon was like, like an extraterrestrial intelligence came down and left all kinds of hieroglyphics and stuff like that and signs that we didn't understand. And then beamed back up to his planet or whatever. And then um, left us behind to try to decipher and figure it all out, you know? So, um, so for a person who who has seen it that way, now it's, 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 he surfaced after many years and we were able to get the truth and the story and this is a, just a real treat. Okay, soon. So with that being said, uh, we're going to go back into your history in New York because you were a real New York writer. You weren't just some cat that came over here and fronted and pretended like you were a New York writer. Right. <laughs> you were a dude with seasoned young man uh, in his prime of train riding, uh, doing pieces on the subways, came out in the movie Wild Style, and we're going to talk all about that, my brother. So go ahead and and soon and, and introduce yourself, and, and let's get it right into New York. Bro. All right, I'm soon one. Started writing in, in the Bronx, Co-op City, uh, Section 2, Building 13. I ran into this cat named um, Stanley Garland. He used to write on the walls with El Marcos. And he had a nice tag. His name was Short Shot. And I, it was a couple of other dudes there, but he lived in my building, but he was the one that's closest to me, so he turned me on to it. And uh, I've been going ever since then in graffiti. Okay, my yeah. brother. And then, so from, from your first start, mm -hmm. how did you transition into hitting the actual train lines? Okay, first I was doing the, um, first I was doing the, um, the, the staircases. Okay. Hitting the staircases, you, you get 33-story building, you, you can start from the top and go down to the, you know, just bombing the buildings. Just mm -hmm. bomb, then you go to another building, but you, you know. And then from there, you start venturing out towards the subway. And then once you get towards the subway, then you become a real writer. Because, uh, I mean, uh, so, um, writing in a building is not, it's writing, you know, I saw Pre Sweet was doing that. Blade was writing in the building too, a uh, Corp City, but they was doing the trains too, though. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So according to you know the New York culture, yeah, and what all the OGs say is that in New York you don't get your respect until you get on the, that public gallery, which right. was the Subway Art System that right. that separated the Men kings from the, from the toys right, and right, all that right, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, and so uh, let's let's hear about your first experience on that subway train, get it, hitting it. Mm, I guess first you started uh, motion tagging. You know what I'm saying? When you get into the car and you just tagging while the train's rolling. You know, okay. you might go over to the writer's bench and you, you meet a couple of writers and you're all you're going home. And then one guy might be going down, you know, a couple of more stops and he hit a tag. And then you, mm -hmm. and you, you know, so sometimes you ride the train from the, the beginning of the train to the end of the train to the, to the last stop. And just bombing the train each car or whatever and getting up like that until you realize that you got to go to the yard and, and the layups to really um, to make a dent. You know, you can get up. You can get up motion tagging because because they're gonna see it right away. Mm -hmm. they, 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 that as soon as you get out the train from writing it, it's gonna go up and down all day, all week from that point on. But when you go to the yard or something like that, it might not pull out until uh, Monday. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You. But when yeah. you motion tagging, it's it's flowing right there off the spot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Did mom suspect that you were a writer? No, she really didn't. So how did you how did you pull I, it off? 
Uh, she, she, I was an artist, so she, mm. every, so, so everything I did was drawing and stuff like that. So okay. she didn't really. I, I even got into art and design high school, but okay. I never got a chance to go because I moved to LA. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Okay. Any memorable uh, train cars? Because um, we're gonna be putting mm. some pictures up here. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the ones that I, I like that I saw uh, later on was one that part of it came out in Subway Art, mm -hmm. which was uh, you in poem. Right. Um, so can you talk about that piece? Yeah, that piece was a, a poem piece. He he came up with that one, but he used my swirl, you know, in the ends, the S in the end, mm -hmm. and that's what made it, you know, pop. Okay, cool, yeah. fresh. Yeah. How about the blockbuster soon that came out in Martha Cooper's book? Yeah, that was uh, that was like probably the last couple of pieces I did before I I got ambushed out into LA. <laughs> 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 oh, to my parents uh, divorced and. I moved to LA, but yeah, you know, I didn't even really, uh, really remember that one. You know, so many. I did uh, like a Halloween whole car with poem. I did, I did a lot of pieces with with snow, miser, uh, a bond with has has he has, on the D train. I just met a whole bunch of writers, and really, when you were a kid, you really don't remember everything you actually really did you know what i mean yeah yeah you had an experience you had experience, a little experience right but as soon as you see it you'd be like i remember that i remember that it comes back to you you know what i mean what was the feeling like for example you did a cameo and you were in the background in wild style right. with all them kids that were pushing the car and right. all that that famous scene mm -hmm. um talk about like uh you know the how that that vibe was in the, the was, movie wild style and being part of that era really didn't know it was going to be like that you know i didn't know it was going to be like that type of movie but my man just told me there was a movie he lived on that block on freeman street snow and uh he told me yo man they filming a movie on my block um and we went up there and they was filming it and then it just so happens that day uh uh they gave all the little kids say like a a, a release form mm -hmm. but it was written it, it, Zephyr wrote it, wrote it out. It's mm -hmm. written in his graffiti style. You know how neat mm -hmm. he yeah, write. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, good hands. So it was written like that. So you know, I, I never gave that up. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah. That was that was for me. I never gave it to my mother to sign and then like that. I never yeah. brought it back to them. I just kept it. And then somebody stole my all my work one time, and, and that went with it. Get up stickers is the ultimate bombing sticker, made from military grade materials. These stickers are super easy to peel and were made for putting on tanks. So you know they're going to last. So click on the link below to submit your designs. You don't want to sleep on this. Oh, so, man. yeah, and that was oh, nice. Man. And I talked to Zephyr. He don't even remember. I do. I remember. That's cool. It was uh, uh, it's handwritten. All the, uh, uh, whatever they Yeah, yeah, you, the legal, yeah, the legal, legal terms. He, right. he wrote it out. Right. As a waiver, just a quick. Right. You know, for, for somebody yeah. to sign and back then they have the, the fast uh, computer and printer and all mm -hmm. that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he read it out, but he wrote yeah. it out, but it wasn't. It was copied. It was. It was. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He wrote but it was one handwritten, out. Yeah. and then he copied yeah. it and then yeah. it cool. He didn't do each one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Right yeah. on. Um, yeah. Any memorable moments um, ex from that experience? Describe how it felt being a young man in New York, in part of the graph scene there, it felt, in its prime. Felt good, man. Felt good. I mean. Uh, graffiti and I say you say hip hop and graffiti, but graffiti is like before hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So graffiti was like more of a um, universal type thing. It wasn't like no no certain person. Mm -hmm. You know, black, white, Chinese. You know. Whatever you you know, mm -hmm. they got all writers is just writers. You know what I'm saying? And hip hop wasn't really out. You know, like that when writing first was out, it was that people listened to like um, rock and roll, uh, just regular music from the seventies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. There was no hip hop like that, even in the eighties. There was disco, was funk, big, right? Even in the eighties, yeah. hip hop was not even on the radio. They didn't even have it. You, you hear hip hop, but like in a park. Yeah, you know what I'm saying on on a mixtape. Or, or not a mixtape, but they call it a, a a cassette tape. Yeah, the, the mixed you know, cassette. Of a jam, yeah, you, or like that. And then in midnight, twelve o'clock midnight, maybe two in the morning, you might hear uh, somebody might have like an hour worth of hip hop. You know, that's how you heard hip hop. Hip even when I moved to L.A., it wasn't on the radio like that. Right. It was. It was not no like hip hop radio station. It was just played like on like uh, WLIB radio station. 
three in the morning for one hour, you mm -hmm. know, or they yeah, like, the they college play, radio, yeah, like yeah, 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 like the car, like the Jamaican, they might play Jamaican music uh, mm -hmm. in those kind of stations, and mm -hmm. then they, you know, like that, a little yeah. hip hop, a little in there. hour worth of hip hop, hour worth of uh, reggae or whatever it was, it's, you know. You but, remember any of the artists that you would hear on those little? Oh programs? yeah, you would hear. Um, who was out? Who was out? Um, um. KK Rockwell, Little Rodney C, um, uh, Spoonie G, um, well, um, it wasn't no KRS one or nothing like that. They, those dudes wasn't even around. It, you know, it, it wasn't. Uh, it was real. Uh, Timmy Hall from the Valley, KBG, um, Rocky G, um, you know, Herc Bambada. Um, a breakout DJ breakout. Um, uh, uh, Baron DJ Baron, and um, you know, and the MCs was like you know, Shy Rock, um, Melly Mel, you know, just all yeah, the regular, yeah, the regular old school, old school. Not they don't some don't even rap, don't even do it no more. You know what I'm saying? But they, did you ever run into like as you were walking home, like at the park, you would hear it going on, and see people yeah, were partying and, yeah, and, yeah. and doing I, the I, jams. Like I, I said I I lived I lived my block. Say it's a block going like this, straight ahead. And at the end of that block is a park. Mm -hmm. That's where I lived at. I okay. lived right at the park. The park was right, no other, like yeah. five houses down from my house is the yeah. park. And that's where the Hafen pool is at. It's a pool. Mm -hmm. And then in the pool, they had they had a basketball court. They had a, like, a, like, like how they had in Wild Star, like a dome, mm -hmm. you know, like where you could plug up uh, the music onto the uh, stage. Yeah. You know, they had one of like those. Like an amphitheater type amphitheater thing. Amphitheater type thing. Yeah. They had a tennis course. They had the handball course, the paddleball course. They had a track field going around it and a pool all in the same park. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so and it was a good park, spot that, to rock a jam. It was definitely a good spot to rock a jam. And my Fresh, block was right man. there. Boom. Okay, did you ever participate in b-boying? Did you ever try break to get dancing? there? Yeah, break I did, the... but not in New York. No. Okay. In okay. LA. Not okay. in New York. I never, I never, no, I never tried it in New York. I, okay, so how old were you? I was more graffiti in New York. How old were you when you were, when you made the switch, when you came over? 15. You were 15. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about that transition. What was that experience like? You're at the mm. height of the culture over there. You're in your prime. Mm. You're excited. Right. You're very active, and now mm. you get pulled away. Right. What was that I like was thing? I would say I wasn't at the height height mm -hmm. I was mm, what would I call myself I wasn't no I wasn't like one of the ones that they, they you know that people but I came up with the other guys you know what I'm saying nobody we wasn't there yet it was people like Zephyr Dandy they were there mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying right. um uh, we was just like more like um, up and coming okay you know what gotcha. I'm saying yeah, we was yeah. we wasn't uh, if our names go by. Uptown dudes that know it, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? But yeah. uh, Don, everybody knows it. So everybody what were your train knows. lines that you were The twos following? and fives. Twos and fives, yeah. okay. Five and two, yeah. All and right. sometimes the D, you know, we go to the D yard and knock the Ds out. But the twos and fives was, was definitely my, my my joint. Who were the popular writers of the twos or fives? Or who were some kings of the twos or fives? Uh, Dondi, Duro, um, Zephyr. Uh, uh, Zephyr was more on the one at that time, the one train. Um, really, who was the king? Slip three, um, MPC, Rush and Rest, Rush twenty one twelve and Rest, um, Rock one fifty, um, a lot of those. Uh, who else? Cap, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Case two. Um, all those dudes, Butch too, um, uh, Black Scene, Rupert Scene, that's the Black Scene, uh, not Rich, not the White Scene. TC5. TC5 Scene, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, who else? Um, oh, Agent, Scheme. Um, oh, so that, that line was had all heavy. It was all, it was hot as hell. It was, heady, it was heavy hitters. Shit. All, you just named it, all, it, it was all stars. Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so was, that was a good, those that's were good lines. the best lines. line ever. Yeah. That's, that's the, you know, uh, everybody who was somebody came to that line to do it because man. they, because it had the, 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 the best uh, joints on hey, it. You got yeah. the paint on it, man. We got the, got, man. I lived on it. Lived on my, 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 right down by the layups, man. So that you rolled on that to go places and stuff. Everywhere, everywhere. Wow. I go, I 
go on there. I go on. The, I get on the Baychester Avenue, mm -hmm. and then I switch. If I want to go like downtown, I, I switch on the, from the two trains to the one train at 96th Street, or I go to 180th to the. Uh, no, it's not the two train. I lived on a five. It splits up on eight on um 180th Street. So if I say if I'm coming uptown mm -hmm. from Manhattan, mm -hmm. and I'm on the two or the five. If I'm on the two, I got to get off at 180th and then get on the five to go up to Baychester. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the uh, they split off. Uh, they 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 they're the same line. But it's not the same line, but they they come down Manhattan in the same kind of order. Uh, but once they get to um, the Bronx, uh, it breaks off. Um, it goes from 149th Street together all the way up to 180th Street. So from the writers bench all the way to the uh, the other writers bench, like you say, you would say. Uh, uh, um, the other writers bench will be um, uh, um, Tr uh, Tremont Avenue. That's like one stop away from 180th. So from there to there, that's the twos and five run together. It's a big, big yeah. From 96th yeah, Street yeah. to 180th Street. So it's a nice run. Yeah, nice run. They run together and then they split off from um, 180th and then they go on the two train and it's outside upstairs. It's like the elevated line. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like you you know, elevated. So that's the ones where they take the pictures that you can see where they're up there right, kind of high? Right, right, right. When, they're, they're, on, nice when they're on the bridge, like it's like yeah, on the bridge. Yeah, when it's on the bridge, yeah. like over the, high, over the street. Yeah, Those are yeah. beautiful shots. Yeah, yeah, like that. That's the, that would be the uh, twos and the uh, five too, but the five was mostly like, uh, uh, it wasn't really, too, they had like a few of those, but not many, but the twos was all that, all the way to, to, to Pelham Bay. I mean, to, uh, to the last stop on the two train, it was, outside like that you know what i mean okay yeah you know what what uh one of the interesting things about you soon is that a lot of people always talk about man i was poor i was broke and this and that right. but you came from a you know that's what right. makes you a little bit different from some of the people I've, I've interviewed is that you know you came from like a professional working home right, right? Yeah, you know, can lie, you describe yeah. just your situation yeah. just so people i mean see um, my mother and father both worked you know what i'm saying they was together they both worked my mother was a um a, a case worker you know, mm -hmm. for like I guess welfare, a caseworker. Mm -hmm. She had a, a bachelor's degree. Um, my father, he was a, a taxi driver and a painter, like a house, you know, yeah, painter like that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I never wanted nothing. I never, you know, everything I wanted in life, I got. You know what I'm saying? Cool. You know, it might be some days where you you come home and you gotta wait till your parents come for they could cook the food. But you're yeah. a kid. I mean, yeah. you don't cook your own food. You know what I'm saying? You might make mm -hmm. an egg sandwich. You know, mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you ever heard of a syrup sandwich or, or you know <laughs> sugar water. You know, it's being it's like it's like it's it's, 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 it's a difference between being poor and just not having it right at that time you mm -hmm. want it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, your parents didn't come home from school. My mother. Uh, Come down from AMP, you know, walking with the with the food and mm -hmm. cook the food, and she come through the door, you know, like a normal like a normal people. So you don't be home all day, yeah, um, cooking food and uh, you know, just being in the house. No, yeah, she yeah. at work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We be there, and you know, uh, we yeah, might make go, a syrup you, you, sandwich. Your job was to we go don't to know school. how to cook. We don't know how to cook. <laughs> we might boil an egg. You know, mm -hmm. you know. How were you as a student? Uh, I was. Uh, <laughs> I got left okay. back in third grade. I, I couldn't have been that. I wasn't that good. I was. I was more of a hyperactive kid. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was hyperactive. I, I used to get into stuff. I don't. Know. I, 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 uh, yeah. I was you had energy. I had energy. Yeah, and I got in a lot of stuff. That's how I became a graffiti writer. I guess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I had. I had a lot of energy. And, and to have so much energy. Uh, uh, you would think I didn't have no um, no no rules or nothing in my house, you know what I mean? But I, shit, used, to I used to get my eyes wet, yeah. but, you yeah. know. But I still do it though, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's why I said I must have had energy or something, because <laughs> I would do dumps, you know, something like that, like go in there and steal that paint, you know what I'm saying? I got to have it. Mm -hmm. I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do. You know, All right, my brother. So why don't we uh, go ahead and let's let's talk the transition. Right. You come to this new planet called the West Coast, right. Los Angeles. Mm. You touch down. Tell me what your first thought when you mm. get off that plane and you you drive down those streets of Los Angeles. It was Angeles. clean and beautiful. It was it was shining. I was okay. like, damn, yeah, this place is. Sheesh. They had the stucco walls, like the the, the, the pastel yellow uh, shit, uh, the, like avocado green walls or whatever walls they had, but it was stucco. In New York, it's like concrete. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's brick. There's no, there's no stucco. Uh, so maybe a house is stucco, but not, not not really. Not like L.A., you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It was just totally different. And no graffiti. It, they had they had the gang graffiti. That's about it. There was no graffiti like that. It was just like, you see like 18th Street, 
Harpies. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Crips and things like that. Not really the Crips, but they they would just do tags, mm-hmm. like more like. But these other dudes, they was doing like filling blockbusters like type. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You in silver, you'll see like what was it? Uh, Harpy, what's it? Har- Harpies, and there was another one. Um, 18th Street and something else. Playboy, Playboys. Playboy, you would see big Playboys like uh, blockbuster, gang style blockbuster. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But um, with a 3D on it and everything. But you you could see it wasn't like yeah, it wasn't the yeah, hip-hop. it wasn't yeah. it wasn't like somebody. It was, for a yeah, whole it was definitely yeah. gang. Yeah, right. All right. Yeah. So then, so you you, you get there, mm-hmm. uh, and then first, where's the first place you touch down to live at? On Longwood, Longwood, uh, um, and um, oh man, uh, uh, it's called uh, Mid City. Mid What's city. the major cross streets? Uh, La Cienega and... Um, Is it Washington? No. Legit lived um, legit lived on Venice and La Brea. I mean, no, not Venice and La Brea. On um, Venice and Redondo. And for those who don't know, Legit is his partner. partner. Right, right, and right, it was right, an L.A. Yeah, writer. Yeah, LA writer so they connected. Right, right. Okay, but he we'll lived, talk more about Legit in a bit. Okay, so I lived on, uh, I lived on Longwood. I lived... Uh, See where I lived at, it was like um, yeah, it's kind of uh, a bougie, I guess. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they was, they was, it wasn't like, it was nice, man. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Yeah, but you guys had an alley there called Dead it was Man's an alley, alley. But it wasn't nothing in it. No. It, yeah, it was named Dead Man's Alley, but it, it did have okay. a name like Dead Man's it Alley. It did have a name. It like did it. have a name like Dead Man's Alley, but it never really, you know, I never really got the. The, the 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 strength on it, the understanding on that, but that okay. was the name of it. That was mm-hmm. definitely the name of, and it it was hard to believe that that alley was back there with with, with no graffiti in okay. it. Okay, but and from not. a gang perspective, gang that's what that's, a little no, bit. I'm saying. But that's Mansfield, right? That's like Mansfield. That's more of a Mansfield. Mansfield side. cribs, the yeah. school, but they were more, they were more to... over. Okay, see, because this a little area was like kind of like the neutral area mm. of that area. Because okay. if you go a little further over, like Hauser and those places, like further over, that's really Mansfield. But they all had to get to the school, you know, yeah. the, the, the uh, John Burroughs. So, so they they would they would come over there, yeah. and they, you know what I mean. And uh, they, but they they was more like over that way, and the schoolyards was more on the other side of uh, of Venice, mm. you know, by by by, uh, by um, World on Wheels, like you, yeah. you go yeah. like in that little cut right there, and they had some Bloods over there too, like um, by the uh, not too far away over there, like they did. yeah. So, so you were in a cool area and like a little pocket surrounded mm-hmm. by a lot of right, stuff, right? Surrounded by a lot of stuff, right? right All right, right. So, and, uh, so what? How did you go about doing your very first piece in Los Angeles? Let's talk about your first classic burner, your first piece. That that alley in the alley, Dead Man's Dead Alley. Dead Man's Alley. Dead Man's Alley. Yeah. I went up to um, Dead Man's Alley. I saw the walls, and uh, you know, you kind of nervous. You looking around because these are people's back. Y'all, I mean, people's uh, back garage walls and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And some of them it was their front garage door because they, you know, yeah. they open up. And then sometimes it might be a house. Like a, you know, in a stucco wall. Yeah. And then you know, I got pictures in the back. I'll show you. Yep, you. and we, so yeah. we're gonna put those on screen. Mm, Can right. you describe that first piece? What, how it looked, so mm, we know which one to put up. Mm, mm. Was that the I one really, with the straight really jacket? Have, no, 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 no. That, okay. was, that was later. But I, they don't have the first one because I used to go over them. Mm. I, I, I do a piece and let I, it run for yeah, a while. Then and, go yeah, over. and then I go over it again. I use that same wall because I wasn't really like familiar with the area. So I really wasn't going out, and I didn't have nobody to go with. So that was just the first spot you got your... your right, your, your that's where I started getting yeah, my feet got, wet. Yeah, 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 just start right. practicing a little right. bit, getting ready. Right, mm-hmm. Um, What year was that? 82. 1982. 1982, yeah. And at that point, man, I was, what, 12 years old or something? Like, I was, I was, I was 15, so... Yeah, so you yeah. were older, you were already yeah. an older kid, was, teenager, yeah. and, and okay. Yeah. Um. After that, mm-hmm. what? How did you connect with? Who was the first writer? Trini. That... He wasn't really a writer, but he was my boy up at okay. the schoolhouse, okay. and I, I could easily. I'm not gonna say con him, but like he was down with me to go do what I wanted to do. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, so I was no, down he, with he was him down to go, roll with you. Right, yeah. he was my road dog. Okay. you know what I'm saying? So, so if he want to go, uh, go to uh, Long Beach, and steal his mo- his mother's boyfriend's son's pit bull. I would roll with him to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 
And if I wanted to go steal some spray paint and go do some, he would roll with me to do that. You, you guys know had each other. We just back. had each other. Yeah, yeah. You want to do that? Yeah, I'll do it with you. So that means that that when it came time to paint stuff, he'd be there watching, watching your back, my back. And right, chill, right, chilling right, with you, white exactly. piece. Right. He, a, if, out if you look in some of those pieces, you'll see soul written on the S O U L. That okay. was him. That's him. That's him. Okay. Yeah. And now, he was a crip, but he was writing it like. Trying to be like New yeah, York. Yeah, like, trying to put uh, yeah, trying to put style. Right, right, right. But he was like a Main Street Mafia. Not Main Street. Yeah, Main Street. Yeah, Main Street. Uh, the Main Streets, yeah. Okay, now yeah. what about well, his after him, was. How, who was the next guy? Who was and the then next And then it was people? Dim. Dim? Yeah, D-I-M, D-I-M right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Dim. And then uh, with Dim. Uh, how did you meet him? He lived there like around the corner from me. And did you give him his name and put him I on? I probably did. I probably okay. did. Oh, yeah, oh, definitely put him on because he didn't know nothing about it. He was he was linking with me. There was a guy over there. His name was Kyle. I think he passed away. I'm not sure. I heard he passed. Yeah, he think he did pass away. God bless his dad. But anyway, his parents, um, they had like a bakery out their house or whatever, and they was mm-hmm. getting money. Like they was do, doing a lot of bakery stuff. So you know how you you a kid, you you like sweet stuff, so you are gonna hang around, you know, mm-hmm. by the but but them. And then he was tight with all of them so we all was hanging together and so now uh, a little group starting right to form. right we started then he do what i do and then you know yeah okay how did legit come into the picture because that's your main yeah. partner that you have a pieces with right you know what i'm saying right. and that's when you I got pieces the... with them too okay. but but he 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 um i'll show you the pictures but um anyway uh well i met legit through my brother okay my brother went to la high i used to go to john burroughs and um them went to uh Loyola. He went to like a, 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 a preppy school. school. Yeah, yeah, private school, yeah. So he went to Loyola and uh and he was just as cool as ice, you know, and you know, and uh we was bombing and then legit first Trini, then them, then legit. Right, right, right. Okay. Right. And t- talk about how you met legit and well, how I you met guys him got through there. my brother. My brother went to LA High and he said there was this kid up there from New York that was um uh uh Pretty hip hop, I guess. So you know, you might like him or whatever. So I, I, I went and met him. You know, we we hung out and he, he was cool. He was writing little L at the time, but not like consistently like how how like a graffiti. He just tag it anywhere like the lock, the school. You know, yeah, yeah, little L. Yeah. I don't know if he uh, took it as like the, the graffiti, graffiti, graffiti like that, but he ended up doing it like the graffiti. But he Once changed he met his you, name. You guys, right, it, right, it, it, right. It Right, it helped him yeah, flip it over, and then yeah. he went. But he was doing it before, yeah. you know, just like you know, writing in just the starting, bathroom, you yeah, know. Yeah, little, but then not, yeah. he wasn't like going out stealing no spray paint for it, you know what I mean? Yeah, like he what we was doing, doing pieces, right? Either, he wasn't yeah. like dedicated to it like that, you know. He would just if you got a mark, ba ba ba, little L. Yeah. Was he from New York or was he? No, he native, was really from LA. Native LA. Yeah, he was really from LA. Okay. but he had a, 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 a love for the hip hop culture. Mm. So, and so he adopted it. And plus he was one of them five percenters. So he he was like in some kind of religious, it's like a, a five percent nation. It's like the nation of gods and earth. It's like, a, it's, like it's, it's something like the Muslims, but that's not Muslims. You, yeah, know. It's you like can't the, eat it, pork. The, the one that like it's real big in New York. Like Rock Kim, what Rock Kim is. Yeah, a lot of the right, the, right. righteous, righteous brother. Like the poor righteous teachers. Right. Like, he was yeah. one of them. So, you know, uh he would, you know, just very disciplined. Yeah, to go hang out with him. Ate, watch what he ate. Right, and, to go hang out with yeah. him. Uh, uh, you can't eat pork. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you know stuff like that. Yeah, no no pork you. eating. And um, yeah, he was do, cool. Do, and he do, was a good. Hey, uh, do you like racker. pork? Who me? Yeah, no. no, I liked it then. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I ate it then. Hell yeah, I ate it then. But after a while, I was more. I was more of a, a five percent than half of them. Not him. He was real. But like little T, another mm. dude, I caught him eating a bacon sandwich one time. Man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, yo, man, we catch you eating no bacon, man. And you the five percent of? Oh no! And you got me not eating. I don't, man, I don't even practice it, but you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you you swining and dining on me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, swining, swining and dining. That's what we used to call it when you get caught eating pork or something All like right. that. All right. Yeah. Well, that was that was the get down at that point, right? right? And then, I, so let let me hear this. Let, let's talk about forming the Young Lords. That was like mm. the first crew in LA. Right. 
Right. First crew for the, me. For, for, yeah, that you yeah, made. Yeah, 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 not yeah. the first crew in LA yeah, overall yeah. because the original yeah. Los Angeles crew was the LA Bomb Squad. Right, right. LA Bomb Squad. Right. Yeah, and that, that whole side, K2S. Mm. They, they, uh, they, they came no late. No, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, talking Bomb about squad. that camp. Right, 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 you know right, 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 right. Shandu right. and all that. Shandu, them right. Yeah. And crime. But I'm saying the first one like that yeah, you mm. made, but it's, it's it's one of the earliest crews. Right. That's no, for sure. no question. No question. It's a foundational crew. Right. It's before. Roll Call. Who was the young lord? It was uh, it's me, legit, Max One Thousand, Mike C, um, ho, ho, um, J Cool, um, Mike C, Slamsky, um, Juice, mm, Risky, um, Severe, um, Risky Severe. And um, some dude named Tame, Tame, I think, Tame. That was a legit boy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Tame. It was Max 1000 part of it, the Young Lords? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That, that was um, him and Mike C is, is, is uncle, nephews, uncles They're and nephews. Related. They're but they But they the same age. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, that's his uncle. Yeah. It's my little uncle. <laughs> we got a few of those in my family, too. Right, right. He was like that. But yeah, he was that. Yeah, yeah. Mike, that was a dude, uh, Max. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, he was definitely the young lord. And, and Juice. Juice um, was... Um, uh, they, he's one of them dudes, man. I I didn't know what they was at that time. It was so early in 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 in, in Amer like history. You never knew what a Somalian was or, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know they black, but they got hair like a Puerto Rican. You know what I'm saying? So you're like, this is this dude? You know, you're what learning what I'm about other cultures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what, but he never told us he was Somalian. He always kept saying he was black. You know what I'm saying? But he was like a five percent or two. Mm. You know, and he was a Muslim too. But he would never say that he was Somali, you know what I'm saying, or 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 or, or whatever he was. But as you get older and you look back, you be like, man, this dude was Somali. Oh, okay, that's I got who you. He was. Like in other words, you didn't recognize yeah, at no, the no. time, but it didn't yeah. it didn't register. You know what I'm saying? He's, what he was. Yeah. I just say he's a black dude. You know, his name is Juice. But there was just something different. He's from about, New York. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But he was. I don't even know if he was from New York because. I don't never met no Somali up in no New York. <laughs> so you in LA? Uh, they yeah, might, it's very they, multicultural. Yeah, very, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. You get a big yeah, mix. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you you mm. got really bold uh, after that. So maybe you started mm. out in Dead Man's Alley, but you sure didn't stay there, man. No, nah. because you did so much bombing down La Brea, Venice, and places right. like that with throw ups, right. tags, everything. Yeah, uh, that those things stayed up for like. Because they didn't buff quite like they, they do did. now. No, that's and those things ran to like 88, right. 89, yeah, some of stuff them. stuff stayed up. On yeah. Even on bus benches. So mm. talk to me about your bombing missions, how you went, oh, how, went about that. Every day we used to just go out racking, racking paint every single day. Oh, uh, man, we loved it, man. That's we all. used to walk, you used to just we used walk, to walk down the street. We take the bus, take the bus out, you know, up to Hollywood. And then walk down the hill towards uh, La Brea, like coming down, just pop, and, pop, yeah, pop, pop, yeah, hitting hitting any store that's got like um, any store that has uh, spray paint in it. Mm -hmm. I had a nice rack over there; it was so good, man. Uh, it was so good that the stores. Uh, you walk in the store, you go five feet, go to the right. You're right in front of the paint. The register is five aisles down that way, mm -hmm. deep in the store. Mm -hmm. My man can stand outside the store. And look at the register and tell me where the dude is at. So I could clack, 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 clack. And they won't even know you're in the store. And then you just walk right the two steps and then dip right out, go right back in. I gotta do it again. And then, then, then they do it. We had like 30, 40 cans. Cause we do it more than once. You know what I'm saying? And then it was like four or five of us. So we'll just take, um, uh, you know, yeah, turns, yeah, turns doing it, but yeah, it was, okay. and they had all the hot colors. They had the turquoise, they had the clover green, they had the plum, they had the uh, uh, jungle green, they had pastel yellow, pastel uh, green. They didn't have icy grape anymore. They had ice cream grape. They, they had still it. had icy grape. Store. It wasn't discontinued yet, huh? No, 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 no. This was this was early on, man. This was, oh, okay. we, we, it wasn't. Right. I, I stopped right in eighty five, eighty six. So anything before that. Oh wow! Everything was before that. So you, you know had what I'm all that. Yeah, yeah. It was man. They didn't even, man. They didn't even come near you. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and as long as you didn't clink, 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 they wouldn't even know you had. You had your shirt open, your jacket open. You know what I'm saying? The rack was so sweet. That particular rack was so sweet. 
It was. It was All great. right. And then um, what? What? how would you guys do your bombing? You'd be walking on the street, getting up, and mm-hmm. you'd have a lookout? Or how, how would nah, you guys do Nah, we it? just say we um, come you know, out. Like the, a posse style? Like, he'd be on me and Legit, and Mike C, or, or me, Legit, and Jose. Whoever we with, we just get the busting out to cans. Once you get into it, man, you just get... <laughs> Hitting it all up. It's like a like you get into a uh, savage mode. Like you know, you just keep, yeah, you just keep bombing. And then the more you do it, the more you want to hit better and bigger spots. And you know, and then yeah. So what was your next actual piece out of Dead Man's Alley? Was that Venice uh, Beach? Mm, no, it was um, the one at the high school. I mean, the junior high school at John Burroughs. Okay, John Burroughs Junior that. High School. I had me and my cousin had we had went up there. I stole some paint, you know. I had a couple of racks over there in like the Pico area, not Pico. Uh, where, where Dead Man's Alley's at? Where's, yeah. I mean, not Dead Man's Alley. Uh, oh man, um, Pan Pacific over in the Fairfax area, over mm. in the, where the Jewish people at that little area, you know. Yeah, on the, off of La Brea. Yeah. Well, anywhere around that yeah. area, there was a lot, of, a lot of Jewish people, and they had like the store. They had a pet store over there. I used to kill the I used to kill it, man. I used caught, to wreck pets. Man, I stole. I stole a <laughs> six foot python out of that joint. That joint was moving. I stole a minor bird a out of there. Six foot python. Six foot. And my aunt, I, I didn't even have a cage for him. You know, we just do off the off the hip. You know, just I didn't even have a cage for the for the doggone thing. I you put walked it, I, away. I, you walked in your pad with I a six to, foot python. I went into the pad with it and I put it in the closet and closed the door. <laughs> closed the door. That was his home. Hey, yo, yeah. word is born. And then when I came home that night, that later on that day, all I heard was, you try to kill my son. You try to kill my son. This fat. That fat or wide. And super long. Stupid long. And She blamed you? Your mom blamed you? No, not my mom. But was, when we first moved there, we, you know, we ain't got no money to buy a house right off the rip. Uh-huh. When we lived on Longwood, we lived with our cousin. My cousin lived there first. So your mom thought your cousin was bringing No, no, that wasn't my mother. His mother. Oh, his mother. His mother she said, said your you're son trying, to is trying to kill oh, my, my son. son with that snake. Yeah, like that. So, and yeah, and then, and then, and then, <laughs> and then um, when the, she called the police, they came and got it. I thought I was going, I thought they was going to come up the with The police something. took the snake? Mm-hmm, ASP, whatever the, 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 the humane society but the police came to it and everybody came but i thought it was because it was going to come out that where the snake came from because it was over in fairfax i stole it oh yeah so you know that yeah. somebody come the there was report, a missing the, snake yeah, report six foot snake. <laughs> they said, this nigga got it oh man he took it you know but it never came back you know what i'm saying <coughs> but later on in life like a couple of uh maybe a one month a year whatever it went by somebody's dick went up there and they stole a, a poisonous frog out of there Dang. and then they had it that was on the news that was all they, points they, they, they put that on yeah they said whoever got that frog is this poisonous red frog right <laughs> and then i went up there cuz I, I was i was i ain't gonna say i was scandalous but i was i was i was so used to getting my way so i figured i'd go back up there it probably ain't that bad you know man that joint had cameras all over it oh, yeah. cameras all over it you know what I'm saying? And I think I still probably burn the spot up. on him with a, a minor bird, the all black minor bird. I got one of those um the, the all white macaw with the black beak, the Beretta bird. What did you do with these things? See, you had I a zoo. Mean, I couldn't get him one. to the house. I had to sell him to a Mexican cat on the street because he was eating through the box. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? I had to sell it to this dude off the street. Twenty five dollars. My bird was three hundred dollars. What? He was like, I get you 25. I said, ah, I'll take it. He about to get away. You better, you better go and put him in a knapsack or something. Because I didn't know where to put him. He was biting me. I was like, man. That was one of my good licks. But, um, you know, he got me for 25. He got me for 25. All right. Let's 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 shift back into graffiti. Let's okay. get into your next piece, mm-hmm. Outside of There. Mm. You did it, John Burroughs. John what, what did that piece look like? It wasn't really no letters. Mm-hmm. It was just a Cheech Wizard character. Picture it, will be up on screen on right, that one. Right, Mine, it, thank you, yeah. Miner, for yeah, that. Yeah, Miner, thank you very much for that picture because I never saw that piece ever again after I did it because my, my cousin had destroyed all the lockers. He looks like how that would look. He coming into mm-hmm. school. You see all that first, and then you see what I did. Mm-hmm. But it's too late now because it's... it's the whole school is looking up, like like you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. Who did this? So yeah. it, it was no, it wasn't it wasn't like you didn't get the fun. It was like heat, like hot, felt hot on you. But it, they never found out that I did it. Okay, they never found out. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Now, um, now for after that piece, mm-hmm. what was your next piece? Probably um, Venice Beach 
and then uh, Penn so Pacific. What? What? Tell me about the adventure at Venice Beach. Venice Beach because well, that was like one of the first pieces. Right. Well, yeah, it definitely was. It was the only piece up there. Well, so no, Zephyr well, no stuff wasn't there. up there yet. Pa- the Ven- uh, oh. That outline. Oh, oh Venice. Yeah, that's you about on Pan Pacific. No, Venice. Um, uh, Venice. I didn't never see no Zephyr up there. Okay. Zephyr was eighty five. Okay, that I, got I saw you. that. Okay, you I know what I'm saying. So but good. when I went up there, it was I, I wasn't really looking for no other graffiti because I went up there in the night. Uh-huh. But it was none up there. Because okay. I go up there all the time, so we hung out at. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's what made me want to go up there. Because you know how you young, yeah. and you know, let's go to the beach. You know, that's where we go over there, rack 40s, you know, off the be- off the pier, you whatever they call it, the, bo- the walk, you know. Or, uh, yeah, they had like a couple of uh, stores in there. Like, uh, they had one store. It's still there. It's like, you could just walk in off the street. You know what I'm saying? You even got to open the door. You know what I'm saying? And, and Rack the beers and then come out and drink, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah, Venice Beach, and I think that was a, a police station, like a substation, because I I tried to do a burner there, but it was just too many cops there. I was with my man Trini, and so that was really early because uh, that's so that's why there was just a block, you right, right, like a right. little blockbuster. Yeah. But you see on that we'll blockbuster, that you can yeah. see you'll see the S O about to be a burner in red. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, a yeah, sketch. Yeah, yeah, a sketch of it. And then mm-hmm. I said, nah, I can't do it. I got to stay low with this. And so I took it down lower. Mm-hmm. And uh, then, yeah, yeah, you did a lower yeah, little yeah. block. Right, right, mm-hmm. right, 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 yeah. All right, so mm. then you hit Venice, you hit mm. that. What comes next? Well, now Pan Pacific, this Pan Pacific right. Auditorium. Tell right. us about Pan Pacific Auditorium Port from Pan- the from the gate because that mm. is a crucial key mm. yard. Right. The, for all the viewers, the Pan Pacific Auditorium. If you haven't seen by now, it keeps coming up in some of these interviews. Mm. That was like the Hall of Fame that had the best pieces and right. soon was responsible for all the real heavy hitting Hot burners chunk. there. Right. So right. talk about that one. Yeah, the Pan Pacific, um, I found that, like I said, by that rack over there um, where the pet, where I used to get the pets from. And so you just noticed this big Yeah, I just noticed building? the building, yeah. Because mm-hmm. sometimes, you know, when you're racking, you, you, you got to dip off. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You dip off and then you like in this abandoned area and you're like, oh, okay. Carrying a six-foot six snake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right, exactly. And man, that was a sweet snake too, boy. <laughs> like that thick, man. But uh, or or either a minor bird, a okay. real minor bird, all black with the orange beak. Oh, I was man. getting exotics, man. I've never even seen. <laughs> I was killing them. I was killing. All right, that so you're, rack, at Pan, you're at Pan Pacific now. Mm-hmm. This abandoned auditorium. Right. And what? Tell mm-hmm. me about how you uh, your first your first hit. Oh, on there. that that uh, Pan Pacific. It was that um. Soon in red, it said "Love Mom" on it, and it, it said uh, "Yeah, Love Mom" like written on the side of it. But it was a soon piece with like it was it was in reddish. It like it had a little purple in it. It was a nice piece. It was it was up, and then they and then somebody I don't know who did it, but they went over it. They didn't go over the piece, but they took all the other graffiti from around the piece and cleaned it up or whatever. But I don't feel they did a good job, but. Okay. It is what it is. Then what was your talk about some of as 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 you progressed your mm-hmm. next pieces? Tell me how uh, it evolved. Then, then, it, uh, then it could uh, you know some more about Pan Pacific. Then it was um um that um over there at the um Panic Zone. I was, that's, so you went after you did a few on Pan Pacific. Mm-hmm. You went over to the Panic east side, right. East LA now, right to the more you know Chicano right. yeah. areas and uh, you know Hispanic areas. Mm-hmm. And yeah. what, that was right off the freeway. Right correct? off the freeway, and it was, and I, I was with Risky, and I, you know, so I said I was with Risky and that dude, um, Severe. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna do a severe risk, you know what I'm saying? And a burner, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, you know, and I just knocked out that severe risk burner over there. And um, what did, what did the people around there say? Like the they were nobody out? out there at that time. No, was I'm it? saying there was no graffiti, but did people just walk by and no, nobody came oh, by because okay. it was like the subway tracks was right there. It was like yeah, some, that's some, true. Yeah, yeah, it was like it was like it was like a de- des- deserted area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But off the freeway, off the freeway, see. right? So it was right, highly right. visible. Yeah, you could see it from far away, but yeah. not like yeah, right, you can't nobody. walk up on it. Yeah, they can't walk up on you. You'll see them before they see you. I mean, you know. Whatever. Okay, so after you finished that one, mm. um, did you move to Pasadena yet? Yeah, I was moved. I moved to Pasadena. I had moved All to right. Pasadena. So let's talk yeah. about Pasadena now. Mm. You get there. Uh, you guys now. You get your own place, right? I still want my mother. No, no, I'm saying your, no. Your mom yeah, got her yeah, own place. Now. Right, you're out. Right, you're out of right, your cousin's house. Right. Or his. Or yeah. Yeah. And then. Um, Mom's gets her place in Pasadena. It's mm-hmm. a nice, nicer area. Right. But they still had their thing over there. I mean, I I know that there's gangs. Den- Denver Lane gangs, Denver yeah, Lanes, yeah. Mm-hmm. all that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Some Crips and all that stuff. Right. Uh, so, Altadena Block Crip was up okay. there. Okay. And uh, 
But oh, now here comes that? this hip hop dude from New York, right. man. So right. uh, start talking about some of the first cats you meet, mm-hmm. how the, how you got hip hop started out in that. Okay, part. Um, I, I went to I went to the school called John Muir, John Muir High School. That's when I started going to um, high school because I, I went to John Burroughs Junior High School, and then when I went to high school, I went I had moved to Pasadena by then, mm-hmm. and then I went to um, John Muir High School, and uh, I was just uh, I ran into my man Slamsky Blair Thalmer. He uh he used to um you know you go to a school and you, you click with somebody you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. you know you really don't click with everybody because some I'm from New York they you know like I said yeah. you know it's, it's different. different they was preppies you know the, the penny loafers and the 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 the, 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 the members only jacket you the know 80s. Yeah, yeah 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 stuff like that they dressed a certain way you know the argyle socks and stuff mm-hmm. like that. They did that in LA too, but they, there was certain type of different people. But yeah. we didn't all hang together. You know what I'm saying? Maybe at right. a pep rally all yeah. together, but like normally you wouldn't be with them. They wouldn't be with you either. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You know. But Slamsky, my man Blair Thoma, God bless the dead. He um, was my road dog. Like Trini was mine's at uh, John Burroughs. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So and that eventually led to you dropping a piece at the YMCA uh, Youth Club there, right, right? Correct. Right. Can you tell us right, about that right. experience. Um, um, at the um, YMCA over there, off of, um, I think it was Lake or Lincoln or Lake, one of them streets. The King's Manor was right across the street from there. It was like a, a housing project right there. And I used to just bomb up up and out to Dina, all up in Pasadena at the schoolhouse. And uh, it was no other graffiti writers up there at that time. And I did a, I did a um I was talking to this guy named um Toontz. You know Toontz, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was talking to him and he said back in the days when he first saw graffiti, he saw it in Altadena. And in my mind, I'm like, nigga, it only could be me, mama. You know what I'm saying? Because I lived out there. I know mm-hmm. damn well there wasn't nobody up there doing that. Right. And then and then I was talking to my man Marvin Pollard. He used to go to school with me too. He used to write Doom. I, I got them all writing. Anywhere I go, I only, you know, I, I don't make them do it. They just yeah. want to do it. Yeah, because, you expose yeah, them to this I expose whole, them to it. This no, right. new culture, this new right. world. Yeah. So Marvin Pollard, he, I was on the phone with him, not on the phone, but on, on Instagram, because I ain't seen him in like 30 years. He's like, yo, soon, but you remember when we did that um, arcade? I'm like, okay. He said, yeah, we did the Cheech Wizard character. And then it clicked to me. I said, that's what Buddy told me, that dude Toons. He told me that he saw an arcade with the with the Cheech Wizard character. Man, ain't nobody gonna know nothing about no Cheech Wizard unless you from New York and a graffiti writer. Right. Cause that wasn't like a, a ma- that's a porno magazine like for uh, 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 adult. It was erotic porn. comic. Erotic, right? And normal kids they didn't look at that. That was no, only for adult, graffiti yeah, writers. And writers that was like love to yeah. Use, uh, that was like heavy metal magazine. On their trains, like certain, heavy metal like, magazine, certain magazines like that. The graffiti writers mm-hmm. used to take the characters out of there yeah. to uh, put on the train. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. So, and when he said that, I was like, man, I ain't gonna go ahead with that. You know, it's probably. He probably but then when my man Marvin told me about that, I said, boom, I hit him right up. I said, yo, remember you said, like, yeah, yeah. And so in other words, you started piece. People's witnesses started right. coming out, basically. Right. Yeah. So right. describe the piece at the YMCA. You did oh, like a swimming a, um, character or something. It was, like a, that? was a, a dude swimming with the shot with the swim cap in and the goggles. It was a break dancer, like in a, uh, you know. Yeah, we're gonna post a picture yeah. of that newspaper break article and a spe- like a a, yeah. a, um, a, a a a box. A boom came out box. in the paper, right? Right. It came out in the newspaper. Uh, it was a uh, like a like, it was the whole gym wall, like you know what I'm saying. But it it wasn't all filled in. It was like. Pasadena right here, then the break dance. I mean the swimmer right here, and then the um, break dancer right here. You know it was it wasn't like the whole wall was filled in. Yeah. It was like you could still see the background of the of the beige wall, but the piece itself was dope. It said nice. Pasadena, nice. and then it said Boys Club McKenzie Branch. You know what I'm saying? It mm-hmm. had uh, yeah, and that that made the newspaper. Okay, cool. But, now we're gonna flip back to uh, the Pan Pacific. Uh, you were you were now. Dropping even better burners. Now you and that at, was in '84. Okay, the pen, that was '84 at so, the um at the the boys club. Now we're gonna go back now up to '85. Okay, because that's when you dropped probably would be the most advanced pieces. When I was talking about okay. the alien stuff, mm-hmm, right? That's that was like your last pieces at Pan Pacific. Right. By that time, you were probably real warmed up, right? right. Real inspired, right. Uh, right? Planning them out. You did top to bottom right. burners with right. backgrounds, right. characters, right? So let's talk about those. Yeah, that's when you're coming out with the with the 
outlines now, you know what I'm saying? But for a lot of times I just freestyle. Yeah, freestyle right through it. You know what I'm saying? But just, now you got a plan. Now, yeah, you're got a plan. It out. We're gonna do this, this color, that color, da 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 whatever, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh that's when you uh innovated a lot of the uh designs inside the three Ds. The right. checkerboard patterns, the exactly. X's and right. all that stuff. Exactly. Right, you, right. Well you kind of went way beyond what was normally being done. I was in trying the 3D. to change it up, man, because it was coming straight down. I put mm-hmm. it to the side. I was just I put diamonds in it. Like, you know, I make mm-hmm. it like the diamond instead of the circle of right. one like that. I make it like a diamond. And then I was just doing it. I was, Creativity. Yeah, I guess it was the paint, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so much paint in your in your head, you get creative. I mean, I mean that paint, it, it gets you creative. <laughs> it was strong. It, get, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was strong. <laughs> I'm strong. I'm strong. So but, real nice burners went mm-hmm. down. Um, you also were very influential to a lot of little kids around there. They would look at right. you from the fence, right? They right. didn't even want to approach you at first, right. right? Right, right. So tell me a little bit about how you, you know, just like how kids learn from watching you. Uh, you know that that would that would put, that would be like more like um rivaling them dudes like when mm-hmm. I when um when I would go to the Pan Pacific. See mm-hmm. when 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 I was going to the Pan Pacific, it wasn't um. No one around. It wasn't legal. I mean, it, it was illegal. But when the guards came, still wasn't legal. But they they, they they made it legal. You know, they let you do it. You know what I'm saying? After they got to meet me, they said, well, you could do it. They, can you do our name? You know what I'm saying? And I, that's how I did their name. So that's why some of them pieces have weird names. Like, right. But some of them say, like, Pedro and Mishka right, and all right, this other stuff, right? Right, right, right. Because right. that's for them, right? That's the security guard and the other dudes. Um, Mishka was for the uh, security guard up there or even plant manager, whatever the hell he was. But anyway, him. And then the guy name was Jim. And one guy with name was yeah, he, was was it Pedro or Fel, uh, Felipe, Felipe 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 yeah so I did a, a Felipe a Jim my man J Cool his name was was Jose yeah Jose so I put a Jose yep. there for him legit did a legit over here uh, I did a risky on top and then I did a soon like in the middle like right mm. there like that and I think uh, who somebody who else name no nah, that was about it. But yeah, yeah, I believe. Now we're gonna talk about one of the most legendary classic burners that was done. There was called Bust, Bust, Busting out, yeah, Busting like, shit, bust. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Busting shit, yeah, that was a good one. Okay, right. That's a first of all, real fresh, wild style, but also uh, the character was interesting. What right. was that character? I got it from a magazine, okay, from a comic look, book. It looked like a space character, right. or alien with yeah. glasses mm-hmm. or something, blowing w- something out of his mouth. Right. That was it. One. It looked like Africa Bambada. Something like but that. But like, a, like with a mohawk, mm-hmm. and uh, it was like a robot mohawk type yeah. dude. And then it was a, a purple kind of uh, robot type of dude. Yeah. Yeah. But Real I, fresh. yeah, it was dope. It had the smoke coming out. I was yeah, I was working it out. Then it so, had the Hollywood stars mm-hmm. all at the bottom coming, like the Hollywood stars coming over here. Then it had a subway train on the top with like the city, um, like the you know, like the like the. Like the the buildings, like mm-hmm. from like the like train is coming out of a tunnel, and it's like the buildings on the top of the tunnel. Yeah, I was coming off on that one. Yeah, okay, that so good. now you, uh, the kids. Now there's mm-hmm. a as this is happening, the, there's the radio trans happening on the east side. And right. There's kids over there break. That's it. That's a, the cultural mm-hmm. center for right. the L.A. hip hop of the breaking. Right graffiti and all that stuff on that side, on a little further mm-hmm. east, the Hispanic kids, right. the Pico Union, all those areas, Mac- right. MacArthur Park. MacArthur Park. Yeah. They catch wind of it and crime goes down there and mm-hmm. you meet him there, right? He's do he does a piece out there. I didn't meet him down okay. there. I had went down their way first. Okay. I, I, yeah, I had went over uh to I didn't go their way, I went to Radiotron. Radiotron. So I went to the Radiotron and and I started like just tagging up down there, bombing and you know just hanging out, listening to the music and you know bombing or whatever. For the audience, the Radiotron was a place that had was founded by Carmelo Alvarez. Right. He was like a youth activist mm-hmm. that was uh, helping out the youth. Well, you know, mm-hmm. grassroots. Right. He grassroots, wasn't funded yeah, or nothing. Yeah, and yeah. He basically had an abandoned building that he turned into a cultural center. Right. right? For, right. They had a little stage and they would have groups like mm-hmm. Ice T and yeah. all them started out there. Mm-hmm. A lot of the that's Break where a lot dances. of the break dancing, all yeah. the best of them were at yeah. the Oz Rock uh, and dudes from New York. That's right. where they would come down and mm-hmm. and, and, and all that. Right, um, Bronx style so, Bob and yeah, um, LA Breakers. All them groups were founded and, and and or at least went Troop there. Troop too, Troop, I, Shake I, I, City Rockers. Troop, you ever heard of that group called Troop? Yeah, I've heard of Troop. They they used to live in Pasadena. They from Pasadena. And they used to go to the radio truck. No, they but I did I, when I was when I was so called break dancing. They was coming to the uh, when I was in the um, you know how you be in the, the gym or whatever yeah. break, break dancing, and then 
troupe with, you know, they yeah, just happen yeah. to have a song, you know, or, or become singers or whatever. Yeah, that's what they were starting yeah, to get yeah, out. Yeah, right, right, right. Cool. So tell me about the Radio Tron, your experience. Radio Tron was good, man. You know, that that's when it, it was fun. It was fun. They had you that. did a piece in the front that said mm -hmm. Radio Tron. You said Radio Tron, yeah. That was fresh. And, and I did the uh, inside, I did a piece with Ease, dude named Ease. Mm hmm. I, I did do the outline. I definitely, you know, he even mentions that, you know, he, he, not saying that he, he thought I'd forgot, but, you know, he said, you know, you did the outline for that. I'm like, yeah, I know, you know, but he was a good dude. He's a good dude. I think he had like a, a double bypass or something like that. Something, yeah, like a heart attack or something mm -hmm. like that. But he's back and, uh, you know, That's I good. hope he's doing well. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Ease, yeah. old school. Yeah. Old school from like um, out there by the beach area, mm -hmm. over that way, like, you know. Far west. Yeah, west far there. west, far west, right, right. He was supposed to be, that's how we got into it, because he was supposed to be the shiznits over that way. You know mm -hmm. you know how people, when you, anybody see somebody else doing something, they always put you against them, you know what I'm saying? So I yeah. said, no, fine, let's do it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I got an even better spot for you, man. Let's go do it at the radio Tron. How mm -hmm. about that? You know what I mean? And you guys ended up collaborating? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was really a battle, but um, me but doing an outline has turned yeah. into a collaboration. Yeah, yeah, yeah gotcha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, outside of that is where you did the young, right, for the young right, wars. Young, and yeah. you have the roll call, and right. it's a fresh piece. right. Talk about that piece. Was that just off the head? That was just fun? off the head. We was out there chilling one night, and uh, um, Crime and them had they um big joint over there, I believe. It was like a uh, some kind of it was it, it it was Primo D, Crime, and Risco. They had like a piece right there, and then I, I just said fuck it. We had some cans on us, and we just did a, a, a young, and then put all our names. On the edges of it. I, well, I did, but yeah, it was young for short for young lords. You know what I'm saying? But it was a good. It was good. It it was a statement. <laughs> okay. It was a it, statement. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I mean, and, and that 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 uh, you know, became a legendary crew. Right. Definitely. Hell yeah. Okay. Which uh, now we're gonna take it over to uh, how you finally uh, departed because shortly mm -hmm. after that, after those last pieces, the bus in and right. all that. We didn't see any more soon stuff. So, I mean, you could talk about it or not talk I did, about uh, it. That other one, too, that other joint, um, a two of a kind or either, um, yeah. uh, we call it two of a I had two ways of saying it. It said two of a kind, mm -hmm. and then it said... Tough kind, or yeah, something. something like that. I forgot yeah. how it went down, but it went like that. It yeah, it like went like that. It, it went kind, like that. Yeah. It went like because the two was like kind of like old Eng like like the old English two. Yeah. So you, it could either be a two or, or a D, a, the deaf kind. Yeah, deaf kind. Yeah, deaf kind. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a yeah. cool piece. Yeah. I think Rival was watching. Right. Taking part of that. Right. Helping you fill in on or that something. picture. Yeah. On yeah, that picture when he walked by. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And you put his name up. Yes. Matter of fact, that that that's that that's who um um. We was doing it, but I was doing it. You know what I'm saying? I was doing it for us. Yeah, I got you know you. what I'm saying. Like yeah, that. He was, yeah, he was yeah. in there. He was the one with some of the paint. So yeah, you, can, yeah. you know, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So now, uh, from that point, do you want to talk about how how eventually your disconnect from LA happened, oh, or you um, want to just keep that person? Uh, I said it on uh, other joints before. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Okay. I said it on other joints. Okay. I was hanging out in Hollywood. Uh, kind of started I did, going I did, the wrong way a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I did a um. I did a piece for this was a dude named Mike. Man, this dude took. All of my pictures, he got them all. If you ever find this dude named Mike out here mm -hmm. in LA, he got them all. He, but anyway, he 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 um paid me to do his pool. I did his swimming pool up in Hollywood Hills. So you know, he paid me. He gave me two ounces. He gave everybody that was with me legit little tea. And, and I think who else? was Mike C with me? I'm forgot. Well, we all well anyway, we all had an ounce. They all had an ounce. So anyway, we go up to Hollywood. Um. You know, they said he said, "Well, you want me to drop you off back around Legit's way or what?" You know, so you know, we're right here in Hollywood. We we had money, we got weed, we young. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, right here is good. So then, uh, I guess Little T, he didn't have. Uh, he wanted more money, I guess. Or maybe he didn't have money, but he had the weed. So he tried to take some. Um, Pop like a, you know, some break dance. There's a street performance. Street performance. Pop like yeah, a yeah. I didn't see it. This is what I heard. You know what I'm saying? Because I was over here doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was drunk. I was drunk. I ain't gonna lie. I was drunk. So anyway, uh, they did that, and then he said the guy was coming with a stick to hit me across my back with the stick. That's what he said. 
I don't know. I was drunk. To, I don't hit, know. Him, to, hit, to him? hit me. Or to hit you. Yeah, and he stuck the dude. Oof. But if you robbing him, he trying to fight you, not mm-hmm. me. Don't try to blame that on me, man. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, but anyway, yeah. God, he did the time, and uh, it's over with. But uh, yeah. yeah, but it's still, you know, it don't look right. Uh, like you know, like sometimes when I get pulled over, uh, they could see that. Yeah. And I was on mine. I was seventeen then. That was, so they. So, yeah. And uh, when when we when they um put us in the um the uh, the uh, police station, mm-hmm. you know how that the, the glass window. Mm-hmm. My dumb ass could take out the damn. The weed, stick it behind the counter, right there, in front of the damn window. Mm-hmm. They go, hey, hey, hey. You know, you know, I had the handcuffs mm-hmm. on still, I think. Oh, st- yeah. So then they took me out the room and brought them fools in the room. And then they found the weed. Mm. And blamed them niggas for the weed. Oh, okay. Plus the weed they had on them already. Yeah, so it's yeah. just a bad experience. Just a bad experience. Just say, yeah, but right, they wanted to get the older kids um, with it because... It couldn't really push it on me too yeah, tough, yeah. you Because know? seventeen, it was like a, a, a minor. My mother had. To, I went to uh, uh, Valhalla, but um, not Valhalla. That's, that's another one in um, Yonkers. I went to um, <sighs> the name of it, a little youth youth center, a youth juvenile center. Um, YA. YA, and uh, uh, you know. Uh, I stayed there for like a, a week or two days or three days, and my mother came and picked me up, and then. It was over with. I ain't never heard from it again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I did hear about it when I was working for like a, a company, and they had uh, it came up because I was I had, you had to get clearance for like the army because it was doing lights for like the army, and uh, and it, it came up, man. Because every time I, I would go, uh, they didn't give me my my permanent badge, so sometimes I had to use my my regular ID, and then yeah. they, they kept looking and scrutinizing over it. So then one day they said it looked like him. It looked like him. And then they say, hey, man, we can't let you on the base no more, man. You got um, whatever, whatever, whatever right here. I'm like, man, what you talking about? Yeah, and it came so, to haunt yeah. me. But it, but it was just, uh, I'll call the lawyer and everything. This is, it's not really the thing. It's just the charge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got arrested for it. Yeah. But yeah. it never, you never, it never amounted to nothing. You, right. You know, right, you right. know what I'm it saying? It just came up. Right. The thing. Yeah. And, and I, I could have went back to the job, but I had to come out to LA to get the certain papers and all of this stuff. So I just went and got another job. Okay. So you you were away for a while. Yeah. Then you came back and, and um. Now that you're back, mm-hmm. Young Lords is getting established again. Right, right. So let's talk about now your plans for the future. Mm-hmm. Now that we've, it's been established historically, right. the word is out soon, uh, it's back. <laughs> and soon, uh, and you still got it, by right. the way. I want to give you props that. because in Atlanta, mm-hmm. where you now stay, right, uh, you've posted a lot of pictures of, mm-hmm. of, of yeah. uh, trains. Right, done, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Pieces, right, right, on mm-hmm. walls mm-hmm. and drawings and canvases that mm-hmm. are really dope. Right, it's like you Appreciate just picked it. right up where you left off and kept going. Right, appreciate it. So, uh, and then you recruited several members into the Young Lords, me being mm-hmm. one of them. Right, Mark you know, Seven, Mark Seven, uh, Shy, Shy Forty-Seven, Poet, and, um, Poet, right, Poet. Mm-hmm. So right. you know it's a good solid unit right. now. Right. You know, and 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 you know, so LA, keep your eyes open because keep the Young Lords open. are back. For sure. <laughs> and we're going to put it right back where it belongs. Where it need to be. Where it needs to be. So <laughs> right. any last words? Yeah, um, words of advice? Anything to youngsters advice, or man. wisdom or mm-hmm. just shouts? Yeah. Anything you want to say, my brother? This uh, is your time. Words of advice is um, uh, whatever you do, make sure they know you did it so then that way it won't go down to history as somebody else's stuff. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So it wants to change hands. He you know, likes to change hands. Like, you know what I mean? You know. In other words, get up and tell up your and, story. Yeah, don't don't be afraid to um let somebody, you know, like, you mm-hmm. know, some people say I was doing it, but I um I, I was in the dark. I really didn't nobody know I was doing it. And then, you know, then nobody can't really prove you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They, they yeah. can't really say you did it. You can say you did it, but it's harder you, instead well, of just coming out and saying. You know, well, soon if you never came out and told your story, you know what would happen, right? I'd be like, the same way. You would have grown old and died, though. <laughs> and and, and, and the ones that did know, like, remember I told you, it was only yeah. a handful of dudes back then right, that knew. Right. They would die off eventually, and, and then you would have been be forgotten. Done. Exactly. And that's, what I, that's why I'm here, to tell people mm-hmm. stuff like this. Because somebody told me, um, let me get it straight. Um, he told me... Um, Man, that sometimes when you um when uh, he said uh half the people 
who said they saw the Pan Pacific are liars. He said probably only 20 people in this whole thing saw Pan Pacific, and those, uh, the people who say they saw are 10 and 20 years after, 10, 10 years after that, that was going on, that these are, these are the new guys, so they don't know what that first yeah. wave of right. graffiti that was going on. They don't know that. Yeah, right, yeah like but, that, but you know, like the that. good part is, is that yeah. because... There has been some people that still preserved it. Right. And, and, and you know what? And yeah. the good thing is, is that now you're getting your due. Right. And uh, the word is getting out on how influential you were. Right. Probably, arguably, the most influential in Los Angeles graph history. So on Appreciate behalf yeah. of the future writers that came after you, right. I want to extend a, uh, first of all, I want to salute you. Appreciate and I want to um, give you a, a words of gratitude and thank you uh, for... It. Pushing the excellence, right? You know, and and and, and bra raising the bar for us, right? And then later on for coming back around and now allowing us to be a part of that legacy, right? Right. And and bringing in new blood, and, right. and, and that gives us More, also yeah. now something More. we could build off of those foundations. Build it right on up. That's build right, it right on That's up. right on. That's right on target, man. You know, because uh, uh, is you don't live uh, forever, and if you if you don't tell your story, nobody will hear. Nobody will know about it. You won't be like uh, uh, the guy who who's dead and gone and they talk about you while you're dead only yeah. you know like I don't want to I don't want to be like you know people like to talk about dead people a lot yeah. they like to give it up to the dead because the dead they can't receive it you know what I'm saying you still get in the light yeah. that guy's dead you know what I'm saying yeah. so you still like you know you're using them the dead as your prop that's Sometimes that's how I feel because uh, if, if you only throw around the people that re that 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 are dead, that helped you and schooled you, and there's people that are alive who you literally schooled you, and you don't talk about them, then obviously it's like a play for um uh you know uh you know. Well, you know, let me tell you something. You know what, soon mm -hmm. to me that's dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. Um, and when I started painting up in the Bay a lot with Resic. Mm -hmm. And around the times when we, we got the, we, the one I Resic, met him. Resic, you yeah, met the, him? yeah, the light skin dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the Aerosol Three right. event happened, and you were flown to the Bay Area, right. yeah, and and we all painted at that school, right. and we all got together. It was a right. gallery show in San Francisco, right. and you had your work, right. where some of the New York pioneers came right. too, and Skiing you guys and connected right. and all that. Right. Um, at that time, I told Resic, I said, you know, soon's back now. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we need to do mm -hmm. is we need to make sure that uh, this is made, that things are made right and we help get Soon's story, you know, get, uh, do what we can to right. position and to help him mm -hmm. to be able to uh, establish, you know, the historical facts right. and establish his position. Right. And to give him that respect and give him his flowers while he's still alive. Right, man. I said because a lot of the people that invent a lot of times things they don't get forgotten get and they never get their flowers while they're alive. Right. So this is a this is a part of that that effort that we committed to back then. Even mm. my cousin Bruno, all of right. us mm. were about like let and and not just you. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Shandu, Rick, yeah, yeah, yeah. and every all that yeah, yeah. generation. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Um, I I don't believe that from the brother, heart, man. From the heart, you, brother. Man. Coming you know what I'm out. Saying? You know, and and you oh, know, yeah. like I said, let's, let's 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 keep building. Right. And with that, mm -hmm. thank you all for joining Classic Burners. Hope you enjoy this important <laughs> historical <laughs> lesson, and be on the lookout because we're coming. Right. Y.L. in the Young building. Young Lord. <laughs> for sure. All right. All right. All right. Let's clap it up. That was, that was good. This time is our most precious resource. Always remember that every minute, every second, and every moment matters. So let's do our best to live a kind, compassionate, and loving life. And God willing, we'll see you in the next episode. One. Let's go!
Yo, let's cap in here a second, taking the atmosphere. As I steer this vessel like a Chevrolet Cavalier, I'm a native to this culture, chasing vultures up out of here. Fuck out of here, a lot of work, put in like Vladimir, we dismissing fear. Listen here, if your loyalty shifts over, about to the point where you disappeared and disappear. You overlooked those who wrote the book, how does that work? How you a factor when there's gaps in your chapters? Let's cancel the chatter off the grid, damage your scanner, shed some light in this tavern, and hold this mic just like a lantern. I don't settle for the standard. Or nestle in the pasture, turn a happy camper into a snack for a pack of panthers. My pops would often reminisce on the mothership landing and then become saddened at how the brothers disbanded over money mismatch.